You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, Gab.ai, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriot. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. Hi guys, and welcome to the Hollywood Podcast. My name is Safan. You can find me at minds.com, bitchy, Twitter, and gab.com. Most importantly, like, share, and subscribe on YouTube because we're writing this until the roof fall off. All right, guys, let's start the show. In this episode, I want to read you an article by Tammy Lauren, a conservative writer for Fox News. Describe the condition in California right now. California is very bad right now. It's a communist state. It's a failing state right now. California is a failing state because of the liberal ideology that's imp- it's implemented over the years. And because of that, there's a high homeless rate. All right, high crime rate and violence. All right, and this article is, is going to project what homeless is doing to California. All right, and give me one second while I post this article up. Like I said, this channel would not be where what it is right now without your support, and I greatly appreciate it, guys. And on that note, guys, here's the article. Tammy Lauren, California created homeless encampments on wheels. All right, let's read this article. Why to try to so, why try to solve homelessness and crisis in California when you can provide safe spaces for vehicles living? Right. Welcome to the Golden State, where nothing's absolutely nothing makes sense. Of course, I agree. It's time for the first thoughts. San Francisco plan to re- review reserve parking lots for homelessness living out of the vehicles. Report. Our California, such beautiful state, is too bad. There's been ravaged by illegal immigrants, by ravaged by illegal immigrants, taxes, Democrats who love these taxes and homelessness. That's what they love. That's what they're known for. But there are a golden state of our leader that doesn't s- solve problems. They just sweep, sweep them under the rug, and or in the case in the parking lot that was supposed to be reserved for San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency employee. But now is a safe space for people living in their vehicles. Isn't that lovely? Two billions of San Francisco lawmakers propose transforma- transforming parking lots near the Balboa Park public transportation into a oasis for homeless people living in this car and RV. Who, I, I just I just want to raise one question: If they can do this, who's gonna ma- who can maintain all that area? Who's gonna clean the trash? I would mean they have to hire more workers, spend more money, which money they don't have. All right. You gotta raise all these questions. Safe overnight parking. And who's gonna do security? Safe overnight parking proposal amend the police code to allow people to innovate, hibernate in their vehicles overnight without police interference and pass the San Francisco board unanimously. No shock there. The plan is called for vehicles, navigation, target centers, tri- triage centers. Um, no, let's call it what it really is, homeless encampments on, on, on wheels. But it's not just San Francisco. Over otherwise, people known as homeless encampments by the bay that has embraced it, has new homeless adventures, Oakland, San, San, San Diego, Santa Barbara, and of course Los Angeles already have similar programs. So they're going to turn parking lots into encampments now. Yes, our vehicle state is a mess. Our whole state is a mess. Does anyone think that there may be a reason why police are traditionally cracking down on vehicle hibernation in parking lots? Perhaps because it is a dangerous to society. Because you don't know who's going to live in the vehicle. Rapists? Criminals? You don't know who's going to be. I'm not saying all vehicle who, all people who encamp in vehicle are rapists or criminals, but you don't know how these people are. This is encampments on wheels in San Francisco allowing up to 30 vehicles in the parking lot. Reportedly, Unintended and state agency employee, do you think that these employees feel safe walking through their own vehicles at nighttime in the midst of vehicle parking and then homeless? I think it's, I think the hell not. As I've told literally hundreds of times before, California felon friendly laws have contributed to the homeless epidemic. Thank you to state legislative and homeless population, largely including ex cons who would should be behind bars, but are instead on the street and now happily parked in the vehicle's encampment. Sounds safe, huh? But how does a state with a budget of surplus of $20 billion still have homelessness epidemic? It's a good question. Maybe we have 
to as our governor and former mayor of San Francisco, Greasy Gavin Newsom. This guy's a straight liberal. He's a beta male. Recent um, point in time, survey shows nearly 10,000 San Francisco are homeless, and that likely does not include those who live in their cars. Welcome to Hotel California, right? The most modest compared to the right right here in Los Angeles, countrywide of our city li- angel, city of angels boasting approximately 50,000 homeless people and counting according to the latest count by uh, um, Los Angeles Service Authority. The state of California aside six, 650 millions of homeless dollars for the homeless problem still cannot solve the problem. Instead of focusing on le- on it, our leader is spending time actually taxpayer funding time passing all these budgets and providing illegal immigrants with healthy health care. Folks, you might not live in California, but consider this. Your city might be one de- Democratic vote away from your own homeless ev- encampment problems. And I totally agree. This what. Ca- this what this is why Democrats don't understand economics. I've made this so many times before. All right. Democrats don't understand economics. They think their solution to everything is spend money, more money. You know what? More money is not going to solve this. What it needs, what's going to solve this, is strict enforcement. All right. Tolerance. They're enabling this stuff. When you don't enforce the law, you're you're becoming an enabler. All right. Now, there's nothing good with an enabler. Are you enabling people to do bad stuff? All right, we have to enforce the law. All right, no amount of money can solve this. The main contributor to why these people are in this situation right now is probably drugs and increasing home rate right now. And you know what contributes to increasing home rate? The increase of population. You know what increases the population? Illegal immigrants. All right, illegal immigrants. More people in the city. That means more scarce in housing. With more, when more houses is scarce, right? That means price has to go up with the with the demand. It's called free market. All right, get rid of these illegal immigrants and force the law. That's the solution. All right, I'm tired of this thing in California. They don't, it's a simple thing to do. Get rid of illegal immigration, which, which, which reduce the populations, which reduce the scarcity of homes, which make homes drop, pri- drop down, which make homes af- more affordable. All right, when there's fewer people in the city, there's fewer demand in housing. When there's fewer demand in housing, they have to cut, drop down the price. Basic economics. When you drop down the price, people are, are more, can afford these homes even more. All right? But that's all I got to say. Because of what I'm saying, YouTube don't want to monetize my channel because I'm unscripted and rehearsed and edit. That means I'm not bothered by any outside interference. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Because when you like, share, and subscribe, you encourage me to make more videos. When I make more videos, I may I saturate YouTube algorithm. When I saturate YouTube algorithm, my vi- uh, my video will be more broader to ex- a more expensive audience. Within those audiences, I might get them to think for themselves. Because the point of this channel is to get to people to think for themselves. When people think for themselves, they don't they don't affect people like me, right? Because people who 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 don't think for themselves are group thinkers. Group thinkers are communist, socialist, Marxist, Democrats, all right? Venezuela, North Korea, those are group thinkers. Black Lives Matter, Antifa, those are group thinkers. Group thinkers are the group of people that make up all these stupid policy that affect people like me, individuals, all right? By taking away my rights, my guns, making me pay more taxes. That's how they affect me. Because if you, this is why I encourage to be an independent thinker, because independent, independent thinkers don't affect me. They don't come up with these stupid laws that affect, affect my rights, all right? Because I'm not taking any, any donation. Because I, if you guys are able to think for yourself, that's a good enough incentive for me. All right, but let me know you you think California are doing this the wrong by the way. They're taking a different approach. You think more money will solve the problem? More money's not gonna solve the problem, right? You think more money is the solution? Are right? you think the California legislative are are um, clueless? You think this is gonna carry on to other nations, other cities in America? Let me know, let me know what you think. This is the Hollywood Podcast. All right, I know your time is very precious. I'm not trying to waste your time. My name is Savan, and you guys have a good day. Peace.